we're here on Albemarle Street uh, and we've just arrived at the Royal Institution. Uh, we're going to go in and have a look at the Faraday Museum, maybe see if we can sneak a peek at the lecture theatre and see what interesting things there are. So this is genuinely very exciting. Uh, we're at the Royal Institution Faraday Museum in London um, and in this cupboard uh, is the battery that was given to Michael Faraday uh, when he met Alessandro Volta uh, in Milan in June 1814. That, what you're looking at right there in that picture, that's the beginning of the electrical industry in this country. So if you work in the electrical industry at all, any connection to it whatsoever, that's kind of where it began. Um, and that's really quite an amazing thing when you look at where we are now uh, and the things that we're capable of doing. That's where it all got started. Uh, and from that, further developments were made. Uh, Humphrey Davy created bigger and bigger batteries to power his experiments. Um, it's quite, quite an experience to come here and see this, actually. It's quite a, quite a humbling experience. So uh, we'll see what else we've got. Uh, we are standing outside Michael Faraday's laboratory, so this would have been where he did lots of experiments. And on the floor there in the, uh, the big uh, wooden tray, uh, there's a number of jars that have uh, lead wrapped around them. And they are called Leyden jars, and they would have been, basically, they're like very primitive capacitors. They were the very first capacitors. So they'd be able to store a small amount of electric charge, perhaps being generated uh, by uh, the machine at the back, probably more likely by this one at the front, actually. I think that's the one that they would generate the electricity with and charge up the Leyden jars. And you could actually get quite, a, quite a, an amount of current to flow out of there. And one of the early experiments that they uh, did to try and figure out how fast electricity travelled, I don't think Faraday did this, I think this was done somewhere else, um, was they got a load of people to stand uh, together holding uh, uh, lengths of metal chain hand in hand. And then they passed a current from a, a, a charged Leyden jar yeah. along the line of people. And they tried to assess how fast electricity travelled by at what point everybody in the, in the line jumped. And because all of them jumped at about the same time, it was established that electricity travels pretty fast. So cool. So cool. Bit speechless. I don't know what to say. <laughs> We're here in uh, the Royal Institution uh, Lecture Theatre. Uh, this is where the Royal Institution Christmas Lectures take place uh, and took place for decades. Uh, many, many amazing people have stood on this spot and lectured, Michael Faraday among them. Uh, Marcus de Sorto, I remember, gave a particularly uh, good series of lectures uh, one year. This is uh, a room where you can really feel the weight of history. Um, and it's, uh, it's a remarkable experience to be stood here. So, what a great day we've had at the Royal Institute building. Uh, this has just been fantastic. We've seen the Faraday Museum, uh, we've seen the lecture theatre, uh, we've seen lots of fascinating things and it's, uh, it's quite a humbling experience really to be here and to, uh, to see where our industry began. So uh, I hope this video has been enjoyable and we'll see you on the next one. Hopefully we'll get our learners down here before too long and uh, they'll find it interesting as well.